What is going on subs and welcome back to another fall cleanup on the square farms map Using the wood metal farms dump trailer using the Backstreet Boys 2018 f-150 with the ramps got the Husqvarna in the back with the back collection and we're taking the skid steer along because we are collecting grass clippings and stuff. I don't know how to do the leaves like square does, but you know we're just collecting grass clippings and stuff. So hope you guys are enjoying your day and stuff. Um, hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. This will be coming out on Saturday after Thanksgiving. Here, I gotta remember these controls. I, I think we're good. So let's go do some properties. So we're getting very close to uh, plowing, like I mentioned in the Mod Spotlight. Uh, Thanksgiving is a week early, so we'll probably start within one to two weeks of December on snow plowing. Let's get some yards knocked out. Episodes, I uh, will do uh, montages of me doing several different properties, but for today, we'll just do two. I think we'll do, yeah, we'll do this one on the right. Nice big property. So we'll drop that. Let's get to bagging. So I will need the hood for this. So I already got 500 in this from another job. Maybe before next episode, I'm going to upgrade the capacity on this. I don't think, I think it should be able to hold more than that. Oh, man. Come on, game. Stop lagging. Stop lagging. Uh, while we are doing this mowing job, if you guys have any, uh, if you guys have built custom PCs and you have good recommendations for RAM sticks, let me know in the comments below. I got a hard drive picked out, so we're good on that. I guess we'll pick up some of the grass, but we'll let some of the grass go. This is a pretty big property. So we're going to be doing FS17 content as long and also with uh, FS19. Probably FS19 will get more videos a week, but we'll still do FS17. I've been seeing some early gameplay. I'm recording this on the 15th of November, and it's looking pretty good. I am kind of jealous that I didn't get a copy, but it's all good, so I pre-ordered mine, I paid mine in full, so 
I think it'd be cool one day to start getting sponsorships because that's how the squad got it was through a sponsorship. One of the uh, um, server guys that you can rent from for your online servers instead of having to host it on your PC. So depending on how long this property takes, we might just do one today, but I'll definitely have a montage for you guys of fall cleanups. When I get a little bit more time, I'm just under the gun right now. I literally had a week to do three homework assignments, plus do yard work, which get all the leads bagged up, and get as much done as possible I know when I come back. After being gone for a week, there's going to be more leads down. but it, better than nothing so I'm kind of under the gun can't really make long videos but it's better than taking a week off from posting videos so hopefully we can get your guys to support um, there's a lot more things I want to do with this channel you know I was thinking today you know oh I kind of want to do a giveaway or give away a couple copies of FS19 and I'm like no this channel makes no money why would I spend my own money so I need your guys support from here on out let's make this game awesome when the next game comes out which will be FS I don't remember it's every two years so it should be 21 or 22 you know let's give away some copies let's but for that to happen I don't need your guys support I just be like Oh, let's only support him when he releases mods. That's not going to work. So, and that might be going out the window too here real shortly. After the recent leak of a uh, model that I gave to somebody spread like wildfire through this goddamn community. Yeah, that's not going to fly with me. So, I'm not that type of guy that spends my own money on certain stuff, like particularly like this. I want the channel to produce the stuff. You know, I want to give free cop I want to give free copies out to people, but if the channel doesn't make the money, the channel doesn't make the money. You know, it's like if this was my only income and I didn't make enough income to go on vacation, well I can't go on vacation. So So if you guys want free copies of games, any type of games, it's not just FS, like, you know, the Diesel Brothers game that's coming out, any other future games, the channel's got to produce the money. So, if you guys are, obviously, all you got to do is watch my videos, and if you're not fortunate enough to be able to buy these games, watch the videos, support them, and I'll be able to do giveaways, and maybe you'll be more lucky to get the game and not have to pay the $30 or whatever it costs. And I'm sure all these other YouTubers have had these talks and they've got over the hump of people being angry about it and jealous, but at the end of the day, you're going to watch these videos because you subscribed. So... Obviously, I'm doing this as a passion. I want the channel to be successful. You know, give me some extra money and give back to the FS community. My dream would be if the channel was making enough money, which it would have to be at least a couple grand, to be able to give away gaming PCs to the unfortunate people that can't obviously afford them. That would be awesome, but with all the haters and stuff, it drags down the views. You know, I know some of these people are just jealous and are like, oh, he's trying to get all these views and stuff. Well, it depends. You gotta really, like, look at the person and say, is he trying to benefit himself? 
or the community. And my idea is say, if we were getting enough money, once a month, I would give away like an Origin custom built PC, which by the time you add everything up, it's about over a thousand bucks. So just think about it. The Punk of Dylan's channel is giving away thousand dollar PCs. And just maybe you could win one. So the support's got to be there. Like, that's what I want to start doing. With my UPS job, I could possibly do one every five months. That's not cool. That's almost half of a year. I understand there's a lot of frustration between console and PC, and if some of these uh, YouTubers can bridge the gap and say, well, let's hold giveaways, let's do something crazy like you gotta submit a video contest to win a PC. Then we can start bridging that gap where there's less console players, more PC, the community is gonna be so much better. Or just a little bit better. You gotta get rid of the leakers to actually be an awesome community. So let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys want to do and if it is we need at least 3,000 views a day to make it happen with 9,000 subs that should be doable I want to give back to this community I like to give back it's just I'm I don't have a very nice job right now like obviously I'll be going in the pack cars which is your you know some more money but you know, I try my best to give back. I know I've done some giveaways in the past, but it's just been like $2 gains. But, you know, that could have been the start of giving away games. And then eventually we get to some of the $60 games and some of the games that I'm playing. You got to start off small and nobody wanted to do that. And I do have a slug of those games that I bought from G2A where you like spend $5 and get random games. So maybe I can start using those to get to where we can start giving away FS19 or any of the farming simulator. Because that costs a lot of money. So maybe we can give like five or six copies away so that there's more of a chance of you winning than one out of a 9,000 people. And for all you people that want me to live stream, I got some very good news. Um, so right now I've been dealing with Mediacom. They are, they are a shitty ass company. Downright. Like they don't care about their customers. And there's this company called, I believe it's called, let me see. I'm actually going to pull it up. I believe it's called Metro something. I got a bookmark here pretty close. Alright, so the internet company that is coming to my local place, or my town, is MetroNet. Um, they're only going to deal with fiber internet, so if you know fiber internet, that is a thousand up and a thousand down. They're not going to deal with five megs or any of that stuff, or a hundred megs. So hopefully the prices are good, and I can get rid of Mediacom. So just maybe, I think they said... this supposed to be in here. I think they said at least by next year, which will be 2019. So hopefully at the end of 2019, MetroNet comes into town and I'll be hopefully to stream again because 
consider I live next to a big hospital that should be a uh, big infrastructure on the internet side, but I guess that's not how it works. But we'll see what uh, MetroNet does. So if you guys are excited for, hopefully, I can get back to streaming, definitely keep up with the videos. Uh, show me that you guys want me to stream. Alright, so let's get cleaned up here. We'll keep that in the mower. If I need this dump trailer to be moved. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, F-150 with the ramps. Um, obviously, the Chevy 1500 is still being worked on, so we will move that to FS-19. It's still up to you guys as the community. Are you going to allow me to release without leaking shit? So. We'll see. But we're still getting mods cranked out. I'm still adding people to the group. So. Alright, what are you stuck on? Must have bottomed out. Oops, I'm in the wrong one. Jesus. It's like getting caught. There we go. Alright, let's close this back up and get it ready for grass. Onto the street and back this thing up. Jesus, that jack is too low. Oh, yeah, it is way too low. Right, let's load this grass up now. So I originally was going to do this video with the two Husqvarna's, one with the attacher with the loader, but it won't reach above the trailer. And he didn't make the sides be able to fold down, but it's whatever, it's whatever he wants to provide. Get this all cleaned up and we're heading back to the shop. Then we'll have to come back for the skid steer. Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, Definitely think about what I said today. Um, it brings up a good point. Like every YouTuber should give back to the community, and that's what I want to do. But I'm not able to with the earnings that I make from YouTube. So, if you guys want me to give back to the community, definitely support the channel, as always. And then hopefully, this time next year, or even two months early, we could be streaming again. See, this is what I have a problem, really? Like, how the hell do I get out of this driveway? Just flip a Yui.
and then also hopefully getting a RAM stick, two RAM sticks, and a new hard drive will definitely fix the lag, because, I don't know, I got potential in this computer, I just have to unlock it. But I just can't believe that FS is using or wanting to use more than 8 gigabytes of RAM. Seems a little odd. Um, let's dump our grass right here and then we'll clean it up later. And there you go. Uh, maybe we'll do some mulch jobs and stuff. I kind of want to do some more stuff with this trailer before we move on to the snow plowing season. And we might be, we might have to do some jobs with this truck, with this trailer, where we might have to haul snow out of tight areas, and some customers may want that, depending on our snowfall. We'll just stay on the street so we don't have that issue. I'm gonna grab a quick screenshot. All right, there we go. And let's get loaded up and get out of here. Spawn back into the truck. There's one of the uh, Corvettes we delivered. If you didn't see that video, it's on the channel. Delivered our shiny Corvettes. We should be having two other ones from Super Duty uh, very soon. We worked out the uh, mistakes that he made. He made a very big mistake. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen again. So there's one of his trucks we delivered too. He's got a tendency to block people like when he like balls things up and then when it gets to that point he just starts blocking people and he doesn't work things out. When you don't work things out with people, they don't know. You know, they're just going with their daily lives. They want you to be successful. And that's all I wanted him to be. I was like, hey, you told me this, so here are the items that you need to be successful. And if anything changes, let me know if you don't let me know you don't let me know there's you know I can't read minds over the internet so and I think that's the one thing I've now learned that why my modding team was not successful is because it wasn't my fault it was their fault they didn't communicate with me and said hey blah 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 you know I'm getting busy with school or something they never communicated with me you know Duramax and Cody and Blake they have never communicated with me, so I just assume they've always had the time to do the mods. So then when you ask them, hey, why is anything being done? And then all that balled up anger comes out, and then fights break out. I hope these 15 year olds and all these teenagers learn that you're gonna have to be more open with your employer because if you do that type of shit, They'll fire you right on the spot. In most jobs, you got no union, you got nobody protecting you. Like, I'm fortunate at UPS to have a strong union. It takes you a very long time to get fired. Like, to most employees, like, especially if that person's being a nuisance or not doing his job, it gets really annoying. Like, UPS, it, they have to go over hurdles and go through the union and stuff. They gotta follow their rules. And 
And obviously, I didn't sign contracts with any of these kids, but, you know, I was hoping that they were going to do good for this community, and pretty much almost them, everybody failed. So, and then they start coming up with lies, how I'm a bad person and stuff. I'm like, it's your mentality. It's whichever you think. You got no proof, no solid voice proof. So that's going to do it today, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this awesome lawn care video, nice and long video. Enjoy the rest of your Thanksgiving week. I'm, well, I'm pre-recording this, but I'm, I'm definitely going to enjoy it. So definitely away from work and just relax. If you see that comments are getting backed up, yeah, I'm not responding to any comments over this week so i'll be approving them but that's about it so i will reply to all the comments come monday the 25th i believe it is i'll put out a community post too yeah or the 26th really but we get back the 24th so we'll see you guys later have a great rest of your week